Hi everyone, Phil Rogers and Lauren Hall here from Loan Market Edge. COVID-19 has done some strange things to the home loan market over the past few months. So here are some of the biggest trends we're seeing in home loans of recent times. Number one is refinancing. Refinancing requests are through the roof at the moment and it all started back in April when Australian homeowners refinanced to the tune of $12 billion. We thought this was the peak, but then along came May and another $15.1 billion worth of loans were refinanced. That month, for the first time in Australia's history, the value of refinanced loans was almost as high as the value of loans for property purchases. In just 30 days, 33,700 people refinanced, taking advantage of record low interest rates and fantastic cashback offers from lenders. If you're looking to refinance, let's chat. We're just a call, email, Zoom or SMS away. Number two is the Home Builders Grant. The Federal Home Builders Grant is one of two schemes encouraging first home buyers into the market. According to a recent Westpac poll, two thirds of Aussies and aged under 30 are more serious now about buying a home since COVID hit Australia. The Home Builder Initiative is worth $25,000, but it has some very specific criteria to it. Firstly, you need to be purchasing a new home for less than $750,000 which is pretty standard for first home buyers, and your income needs to be sub 125,000 for a single and under 200,000 for a couple in the household. But time is of the essence, as you'd need to sign a contract for the house and land before December 31, 2020, and also start construction within three months of that date. Sound like something you're interested in? Let's chat. Number three is the first home buyers grant. In Queensland, first home buyers can also qualify for the 15,000 state government grant for the purchase of brand new property or constructions of up to 750,000. The requirement is that you must occupy the property as your principal place of residence for at least six months within a year of settlement or completed construction. The stamp duty concession is also available of up to 250,000 on land and 500,000 on a newly built property. Number four is cost-effective lenders mortgage insurance. Midway through last month, one bank did something quite surprising. They announced lenders mortgage insurance of just $1 on particular loans. Nope, that's not a typo. So $1 for eligible first home buyers with a loan to value ratio of up to 85% and loan sizes of up to 850,000. There are some additional criteria, of course, and some fine print too. So feel free to reach out for more information if you might be interested. LMI can cost thousands of dollars in a one-off payment. So this is quite an incentive for those who haven't saved the necessary 20% deposit. Just remember, LMI is not for your benefit, it's there to protect the bank. All in all, there's plenty going on in the home loan space this spring. If you have any queries at all, as always, let's chat. Bye for now.